Next week, Apple and Beyond Meat will be reporting their earnings, and the stock will very likely to see some dramatic movement. In this video, we will analyze the stock of Apple, Beyond Meat, Advanced Micro Device, Square, and Pinterest. All of these stocks will be reporting their earnings next week. We'll also review what the whisper numbers and the market projection price move for these stocks. Before I begin, let me take a moment to remind you to click the thumbs up if you like the contents in this video. And if you are not a subscriber of my YouTube channel, click the subscribe and the notification icon so you won't miss any of my future video. Thank you for your support. Beyond Meat is scheduled to report after the market close tomorrow, July 29. And the whisper number is for it to lose 7 cents. The consensus is for it to lose 8 cents per share and a revenue of 50.94 million. The market is pricing in a whopping $45.95 move. That's a plus or minus 19.6% based on the last Friday close. And the range is the lower target will be $188.95 and the upper target will be $280.85. That is based on the Friday's close of $234.90. So let's take a look at the chart here. I got this uh, weekly chart. As you can see on the weekly chart, it is still trending up and it is remarkable ever since that it uh, went public. It came uh, public at $46 and uh, as of uh, Friday's high, it have gained over 421% in this short period of time. This is a remarkable run. Looking at the uh, daily chart, you can see the daily chart, it printed a little bit of a uh, Doji hangman here and that could be uh, bearish if the price decide to reverse but otherwise uh, it is kind of wait and see it doesn't mean much on a single candle unless it's a follow to on the price action the 30 minute chart we're seeing that it is building a little bit of a uh, balancing here between these uh, 235 area and uh, slightly below 230 what we're looking for next week, if the earning is disappointed, then it will be uh, coming down to this uh, low, uh, low volume zone here, 203.21, to see what it can be able to hold this zone. If it's not, then we're basically looking for this thing to come down to the next low volume zone at 191.78, and then possibly come down into this support here at 174.24. And if it uh, move up, and break about the 239 then basically uh, looking at this uh, price move to come up possibly to this 161 extension uh, I essentially have a, uh, a Fibonacci retracement set up on this swing here and the uh, extension of 161 will bring it up to 279.06 and also in confluence with this upper trend line here and that was pretty much in line would be on the uh, on target with what the market is pricing for it to go on the upside at 280.85. AMD Advanced Micro Devices is scheduled to report earnings on Tuesday, July 30th after the market close. The whisper number is for it to make nine cents per share and the consensus is a profit of eight cents per share with a revenue of 1.52 billion the market is pricing in a plus or minus three dollar 48 cents or plus or minus 10.2 percent based on friday's close of 34.02 that will put the range with a lower target of 30 dollar and 54 cents and the upper target of 37.50 cents and looking at the weekly chart here the trend is still up. It is bumping up against this 3486 resistance here. Looking at the daily chart, the daily chart is similar to the weekly. It is also bumping up against this resistance 3486. On the 30 minute chart here, we see it's still balancing at this high volume zone here. So next week, if the earnings come out and it's disappointing, then we'll probably see the price come down and test this 33.62. If it break below this zone, then we might uh, see this 32.45 low volume zone get tested and then eventually work its way down to uh, 29.80. And that's pretty much in line with the market uh, projected lower target of somewhere around $30.54. If it break above this 34.86, 
the Nibia all-time high territory, and we're essentially looking at the possibility of coming up to this upper channel, and that would be somewhere around this 37, 38 uh, level. And that's pretty much in line with the uh, upper target, what the market is pricing in, which is 37.50. There's also a 127 extension that I have extended up uh, that will give it the target of somewhere around 39.07. And the big one is Apple next week reporting earning on Tuesday after the market closed July 30th. The whisper number for Apple is to make a profit of $2.18. The consensus is $2.10 with a revenue of $53.31 billion. And the market is pricing in a plus or minus $9.23 move. That's a uh, plus or minus 4.4% based on Friday's close of $207.74, that put the lower target of $198.51 and the upper target at $216.97. Looking at this weekly chart on Apple, you can see Apple is still trending up on a weekly chart and near this uh, $212.32. Although it is forming a lower high, but it is forming a higher low. So it's essentially putting in a triangle. So it could uh, conceivably break out of this triangle and move above this uh, $212 level, or it could reverse back down and retest this uh, trend line at the lower edge of this triangle. Take a look at the daily. The daily is also uh, still in a uptrend as the uh, similar to the weekly, it is bumping up against this $212.32 low volume zone here. And on the 30 minute chart, we see it is balancing or setting up a uh, high volume node here in this balancing zone on this high volume zone. So next week, if Apple report disappointed earning, we'll see would it be able to hold this 206 uh, and 50 cents. If it's not, then we'll, we'll watch it to come down and see would it be able to hold this 201.71. If it's not, then uh, we'll proceed down to this 197 area, which is in line with the lower target the market is pricing in right now at 198 and 51 cents. But if it breaks about this 212.32 level, this zone here, and move up, we uh, do have a high volume zone here. And uh, Apple could end up chopping around here and might see a little bit of a resistance up at $222, which is also pretty much in line within that uh, zone, uh, the upper target of $216.97 upper target the market has priced in. Uh, you see here at the uh, lower edge of this uh, high volume area is $216.62. So be watching for the price up here to see what it be able to get into this high volume zone and chop around. If it's not, then it might get uh, encounter some sort of resistance here and try to consolidate here around this 216 area. Square is scheduled to report earning on Thursday, August the 1st after the market close. The whisper number is for it to make 19 cents a share, and the consensus is for it to make 16 cents a share with a revenue of 1.11 billion. The market is pricing in a plus or minus $5.70 move, that is plus or minus 7% based on Friday's close at 81.81, then the uh, projected lower target is $76.11, and the projected upper target is $87.51. And looking at the weekly chart here, the weekly trend is still up and it is near this 82.78 resistance. And the daily chart is still showing the daily trend to be up. And similarly to the weekly chart, it is bumping up against this 82.78 resistance. On the 30 minute, the 30 minute chart show it is uh, balancing here at this high volume area near the $82 mark. So next week, if the earning comes out and it is disappointing, then uh, we'll probably see it break below this 8002 and work itself down to the uh, 7671, which is this big, huge low volume zone area. And that is pretty much in line with the market is projecting to the lower target of 7611. 
And if it breaks about the uh, 8278, then we'll probably see it uh, work itself up to this uh, high volume zone and move up toward the uh, 9292 area. But the uh, market is pricing in an upper target of 8757. So that would be somewhere around this high volume area here. So we probably could see uh, Square might end up uh, consolidating up here if the, uh, the price decide to move up after earnings. Pinterest is scheduled to report earnings on Thursday, August the 1st, after the market closed next week. The whisper number is for it to lose $0.09 cents per share, and the consensus is also for it to lose $0.09 cents per share, with a revenue of $235.2 million. The market is pricing in a plus or minus $3.25 move, and that represents a plus or minus 11.8% based on Friday's close of $27.64. It is pricing a lower target of 24.39 and the upper target of 30.89. And looking at this weekly chart here, the trend seems to be up on a weekly. On the daily, the trend is up. It is bumping up against this resistance in this value area here near the uh, 28.40. On the 30 minute chart, it is uh, pulling back a bit from the resistance price zone. If the earnings come out next week and it is disappointing, then we'll be watching this 27.23. If it breaks this 27.23, then we'll be looking for this thing to come down to this low volume zone here and possibly get a test of the uh, 25.32. If it breaks about the 28.40, then we're basically looking for this thing to work itself up to the uh, 31.15. And that's pretty much in line with the upper projected target of 3089. 